That's landmines, landmines, yes. Spot in the neighborhood, right here. How about this? This is kind of wacky. Manufacturer plate. This is a Ford-owned prototype vehicle sitting in front of my home here in Ottawa. You can see all the camouflage on it so that you do not notice the body lines, so that you cannot see for sure what it looks like. So it's covered in camouflage. We get a little taste of the body line here for an upcoming model. Let's see if... Uh, Ford Motor Vehicle Safety Inspection and they're covering the VIN tag so we can't see the experimental VIN tag. But, there we go, this is an upcoming Ford Expedition, I guess. Model, parked here, in front of my home in Ottawa. So there we are, unusual vehicle. All right. Okay, well, we'll start off by saying, hey, welcome back to Procastus Potent Pepper Patch. This side obviously did not do, do too good, but this one pepper that's down here is supposed to be a Red Baron. Okay. This is one that I bought at the store. Like, these guys didn't go good. This is one of my cayenne chilies. That's one of my cayenne chilies because of lack of light on this side, because of this big, beautiful tree. It sucked up a lot of light over here. That's why the corn didn't grow. Look, it tried. You can kind of give it like an A for effort on that. The corn did try and grow. 50 plants. You know? No, and then I reduced it down. Now we're looking to get 36 ounces of peppers with also what I have inside as well. So I didn't weigh what that was, but we're going to get as many peppers as we can because it's better to have too many than not enough. You know, you find out that, oh shit, I don't have enough and you start your hot sauce and and your hot sauce is a failure and we can't have that because here at Brain Damage Barbecue, failure is not an option. Absolutely not an option. See that one's a little, it's too green. That one's nice and red. And we're also going to be harvesting some ghost peppers. My, my, my beauties are hanging out over there looking really nice. Which ones are these? These are cayenne chilies. We have a pepper down. No, oh, no. It's all good. The pepper's okay. We, you okay? It's all right. It's all right. All right. Okay? It's all right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> and they look like they're not quite red enough over there. Okay, well, film me from over there, doing over here. Unless you want to blow them. That's fine. <clears throat> We're going to trim off this one. This is Nathan's plant. So this is the plant we named Nathan. Nadia's plant's over there, but we'll. That didn't produce any for today, so we don't need to talk about Nadia's plant. But Nadia's plant was a good producer. Actually, that's a little green still on the top. We got a bunch here. No, look at that nice big one. Wow. Now that's a pepper, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. That thing is going to have some great flavor. Beautiful, beautiful pepper. Good weight to it, too. I can feel it. There's a couple of big ones on this side. Are they nice and red? Are they good green on the top? No, they're nice and red all the way through. Okay, good. How's that one? No green on it? Like you can see at the stem? Uh, a little bit of the... No, that, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Because the, the stem is green. It's got a little For twisty. sure, for sure. Yeah, I know that's, that's, that's nice. It's not as red as them, but it'll do. It's happy. Nice. It wants to be part of the group. So, you know what I mean? You can't deny it that. Because peppers are our friends. <clears throat> Without peppers, no hot sauce. Without hot sauce, no life. Keep it beefy. doing
Affiliate Program is presented with the Okay, oh yeah, that looks, looks good. That looks beautiful. But, I don't know if it'll turn though. Oh no, I know that I know more of its history. But the thing is, this may cook quicker than up here. Because like it's not in the, you see how, what I mean, it's not in the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a, you got the bone going. Yeah, I know. There's no way we can do that unless we went on this side of the bone, right? No, even then. Well, unless unless you have another, if you have something, so that you can put a second rod, so that you have two rods across. You see, if you, like if you put that in there and you have something else to hold it, do you have another little rod? Well, no, because so it, it's turning, so you can't do that. Oh, you can, you it's a rotisserie. Do that on a rotisserie. Absolutely. Oh, well, that'll be fine. Then, but that's think. nothing. You kids. This is right. It's going to turn, you think? Absolutely. I have rotisserie, lots of stuff. Now we're soaked with this, duck fat. Okay, nice. Yeah, help, me, yeah, help me just flip it over. Right. But we're not yet, because I'm going to duck fat it first, then I'll season it, then I'll flip it over. Okay. That kind of helps seal it. Yeah. It gives it moisture. It was fat. Go past the Did you do that during the process? No. This is Barbecue Pit Boys, SPG. Not sponsored by Barbecue Pit Boys in any way. But this cook is sponsored by Tommy Trimmer. Guy does hedges, does trees. This is my buddy Tommy Trimmer here. Say hi to him, everybody. Hi, Tommy. See you ever say hi. Alright, so. But that, he is the sponsor of today's show. But, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't even say because I didn't know Mr. Man was recording. But welcome to Brain Damage Barbecue. I'm your host, Joel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can see all these wonderful and wild cook we're doing today. Tommy has brought us a deer leg. Yep. Two to 16, 15, 16 pound deer leg. We've seasoned it first with, we've sprayed it first with duck fat to get the, keep the moisture and stuff like that. Now we're going to flip it over. I know it's probably a, it was a six pointer. So mm -hmm. six, oh, nice, six, nice. Six. So nice buck. Yeah, it was pro probably two years. Two, two years, years old. Oh, how long, how, so how old would this meat be now? Like, the, is uh, this year's meat? Uh, no, I got it in December, but basically it was a quick kill and a quick uh, freeze. Okay, well, that's good. That keeps the. Like, yes, sir, Mr. Oh, <laughs> can't do it that way. Don't ba build it. Basically, I had it wrapped three or four times in different butcher's paper. Okay. And then with, yeah. with the saran wrap after, too. Mm -hmm. But you're going to keep that as fresh and soon as long as you can. Like, you flash freeze stuff like that. I don't know. Dad went to. He go to Vancouver all the time. Um, Painter's Lodge over on the island there to fish every year with his buddies from school. And everything and he come home and these fish were flash frozen like within 25 minutes of them catching them wow. they were filleted and, and frozen boom you know what i mean for like, oh, me it shit. was probably one day because mm -hmm. i had it hanging for one day well yeah you gotta bleed you don't have to bleed fish <laughs> you know what I mean? venison you don't really have to bleed as long as beef but I've had this sitting in the fridge for like two, oh, two, yeah, three see. days, yeah. defrosting. Mm -hmm. See, what I have to do is I have to put some in my hand because it's hard to... Actually, you know what? I can get Tommy to lift it up and turn it so I can sprinkle the top. Duh. Don't know why I didn't think about that. See, oh yeah, I'll explain why I didn't think about that because my brain's somewhere else right now. See, you just want to put a thin coating on it. You don't want to put too much on it. You don't want it to overpower the meat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You want to taste the meat. Absolutely. No matter what you do, beef, deer, chicken, pork. Okay, one more turn. Tommy, you're leaving. Like, one more. I need to hold it up one more turn. You're fucking killing me here. That's it. The, uh, like, tip it up this way so I can get this side. Yeah. You probably have to grab those parts. Yeah. Are you gonna throw it on now, or no? I, I still have to put the coals over. Should I let it sit? We gotta let this absorb all the, all the flavor and stuff. Okay, lay it back down. Yep. It's good. And of course, because we are in oil. What? Ouch. Where did I put it? Oh God, I hurt the toe. That's okay. Where did I put it? Did I bring it inside? No, it's out here. I know it is. What is it? The Lowry's. You should take this smoke out. 
Oh, there it is. We're loyal to Lowry's. This is the only other thing that's going on in this. The light dusting on it. The Lowry and Season Salt is the Season Salt of Champions. It's good, buddy. And it's used on every kind of meat. This will make this meat taste so good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. And that is enough. Season is going away. Looking forward to it. Okay, so in about, I don't know, about another 20 minutes, half an hour, we're going to be putting this puppy on. Until then, my friends, thanks to Tommy T, to Tommy Trimmer, for dropping this deer leg off. He's, he's showing the sign. It's going to be cooked up. I, to tell you the truth, I've never done this before, so I do not know how long it's going to take to do this. But I'm, I'm going to ask, well, why, 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 why are you touching the meat now? Like, I was just going to cover it up. Okay, well, that's okay. I can sit and breathe. Start breathing, man. It's dead. Like, it needs oxygen. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's a, that is a beautiful piece of meat. Thank you so very much for this, man. You're welcome, buddy. We can all take a little piece home if it turns oh, out. Oh, dude, nice. you can take as much as you want home, Chris. There, that proves you're wrong. Yeah, it looks beautiful again. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Big venison roast that we're going to be doing on the Franken Q, grilled history Q, as you can see over there. We're going to get the charcoal lighting. The inside is all the better charcoal. Lawrence and I, well, Lawrence drilled a couple holes in the far end, so I'm able to empty the ash out so we can keep adding charcoal to it and keep it going. You don't want to have heat fluctuations. You want to keep it constant. And by the way, I'm using just Kingsford charcoal for this cook. I'll throw a couple of pieces of wood on, you know, for flavor reasons. But other than that, my fuel this time is Kingsford. You know, you're the best Kingsford number one. Sorry, Weber, you're taking a break. But I do have news about a new Weber. So you can call me Dr. Weber from now on because because of Lawrence, our cameraman. We discovered this, he discovered this Weber on the side of the road, all abandoned and lonely and stuff like that. So he said, hey, come pick it up. I said, well, it's gas. You know, I don't, you know, I'm not digging on the gas. The only time I use gas is for my griddle. You know, Gertrude the griddle there. But I said, hey, turn it into a griddle. So what did I do? I went and I bought a plate. So what I can do is I can toast the buns on this side for the smash burgers. And I can do smash burgers on this side or saute something like that. I will never cook meat on this side. You know that, people. You know I'm a, I'm a charcoal wood guy. Gas is for, gas is for convenience and, and, and quickness. Well, convenience and quickness, you know, same thing. But other than that, you got to cook with charcoal. You, you can't compromise on flavor. You know what I mean? Sure, gas is good. You know, it's quick, bang. Sure, you get home from on a Wednesday night, you want something really quick, okay, gas will do it. But get home earlier, sacrifice, let your Weber with your Kingsford, enjoy the taste. Don't enjoy the speed, enjoy the flavor. It even folds up. It just go in like that. Well, it's, it's not level because of the griddle that we put on there. But other than that, we rescued this Weber. I cleaned it all up. It was all nice and, and it works. It works very well. We love you, Weber. We love you, Kingsford. Until we put the, the, the meat on, keep it beefy. If I was you, I'd have a big couple of fans back there to blow all the fucking liquid. Look, you can't even fucking come in there. Oh, I'm going to go through the door so you can. Trust that money. You want to be professional, it looks like you're burning your garage now. Uh, you want to see professional, you don't fucking come to this garage, that's for damn sure. Just Jesus saying. Christ, man. Just saying. Dude, I'm a professional amateur. That's what I am. I'm a good at being an amateur. I perfected not knowing what I'm doing. Alright. Hey, okay, well we got the meat all, meat all seasoned up, like I said, with barbecue boys, barbecue pit boys, so SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. We're gonna come over here to the rotisserie. We couldn't record putting it on because I needed two hands to do it, so there Boy. it is. Rotisserating over all this coal, it's gonna cook it up nice. I got my temperature probe in. You'll see it somewhere. There it is right there. That's going to tell me the external temperature and the internal temperature of it. So, and we forgot to put this on here tighter. It's okay. Don't touch that. No, because no, that, that, that fall down. That's... There we go. But yeah, though, no, this is the Franken Q Grill Tissery Q. This thing is great. It's made some other meats too. We, we use it as a grill as well. We can do burgers and 
dogs and all sorts of traps and everything like that on there. But today we're doing a deer leg. Thank you, Tommy. I called it. Yeah, no, definitely. Thank you for today's episode is brought to you by Tommy Trimmer. If you need your heads trimmed or your trees cut or something like that, you call Tommy Trimmer. He's the man, guaranteed. He's the one that supplied us with this beautiful leg of Bambi. So thank you, Tommy Trimmer. You need your hedges and stuff like that done, you give him a call, he's the man. And back to our program. This is Bambi, of course. Nice big hind quarter, I guess, or whatever it is. We seasoned it with SPG from Barbecue Pit Boys, not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form, but they know their seasonings for sure, for sure. So we're gonna let this cook for many hours. When we check on it, we will talk to you then. Keep it beeping. Two hours and 45 minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, through the miracle of time, it has now been two hours and 45 minutes cooking this beautiful leg of deer. As you can see, really beautifully done. We're gonna let it rest now, because the internal temperature got up to 135, and that's what I wanted to take it off at, was around 135. So it's gonna sit and rest now. So I guess what I can do is, Get the pliers. Okay, I got them. That's in there. Oh, let me get one down. Away we go. Should that be displayed beyond? No. That I can't see myself? No. No. Nope. Use that more power. Okay. Man. Slide this out. Mm. Rotisserie. There. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The first rain damaged barbecue Bambi. Cooked on the Frank and Q Grill Tissery Q by yours truly, Joel the Man Barbecue, using. Noise, barbecue pit boys SPG, because <clears throat> barbecue boys, barbecue pit boys rock and they're awesome. They've been a big inspiration for me for all my barbecue stuff and something like that. And of course, everybody's favorite, Lowry's. They're the saw, they're the seasoning. You know it. Every meat, except for that one time with the pork, but we won't even bring that up because this is deer. And where'd it come from? It came from Tommy Trimmer. The hedge master that'll trim your hedges to a beautiful, beautiful look. Give them a check them out, Tommy Trimmer. They are the sponsors and the providers of the meat today for us. Thank you again, Tommy. 613-612-0277. Tommy Trimmer. Tommy Trimmer 163 1963 at gmail.com. We'll cut into it in a little bit, but until then, keep it beefy. Thank you, Bambi. Oh yeah, shit, turn that back on. I'm looking at the flag, I forgot about that. And so I totally forgot about this, folks, and I really apologize for it. It's because it's been a while since we shot. We've, we've actually missed two weeks of shooting. One because of things, and another because of, Stuff. what do you call it? Stuff, exactly. So do not forget to hail to the only flag of barbecue freedom that flies in the whole entire world, oh, the brain damaged barbecue. In the country of barbecue dia, where we speak barbecue dia. Keep it beefy. I think that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. Look at it. Oh, I'm so proud of it. Fuck, I thought it was going to be another hour and a half.
Okay, so how much is a can? 500 milliliters. And that's two cups, right? Okay. To the metric system. <laughs> I need seven cups all together. Keep track of this. Two cups is going in because I need to dissolve the salt in two cups of water. Yeah. Am I recording? That one's recording, yeah. Okay, good. Well, then I'll be looking at that one. Okay, so I put two, three quarters of a cup of salt in the Instapot. We're making Syracuse salt potatoes. They're really awesome, possum, yummy things. Syracuse salt potatoes are really delicious. I know from experience in Syracuse, they used to have a trap shooter. We used to go to Syracuse all the time for shoots and they'd have these great, like this chip truck called Syracuse salt potatoes. It was just amazing. So, so that's two cups of water. It's gonna take forever to dissolve that in two cups of water. You need seven cups of water all together. So that's four. And we're using liquid death. Don't forget, like liquid death, absolutely the only water to use when you're making Syracuse salt potatoes. No, oh, that means it's probably five o'clock, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's two, four. Six cups of liquid death. We need seven cups of water all together, but we'll stir a little bit more. We'll put a half a bottle. Just start to stir up here. That's our deer, deer leg. Bambi. And then they're chilling. Bleeding profusely. You can see it all over the paper. Seven cups. Salt's dissolving nicely. You'll know it's all dissolved when the water's clear. So you need to keep stirring it until the water gets clear. It will. Believe me, if anybody doesn't have patience for crap like this, it's me. You know, like hurry up and get clear, but you gotta keep mixing it to dissolve that salt. So. Everybody meet Bambi? Yeah, Bambi's looking pretty nice. Bleeding quite a bit, but that's okay. That's those, those juices, I should have collected them. I, put, I should have put it in a aluminum tray to keep all those juices to pour over the, the cut up meat when we cut it up tonight. So as you can see, the water's starting to get a little clearer. It does take time. I use kosher salt, not iodized salt, so kosher salt is for cooking if there's any extra stuff in it, it's just salt, big chunks. The flies are quite annoying tonight for some reason. This weird September weather we're having, it's warmer than normal. That's why you've got this thing. Yeah, well that, that helps keep the flies and, and other bugs away from it. So I've always wondered with these finally if I came across one. See, look at that, the water's pretty much clear now. Definitely saw a change. Okay, so next, add the salt, the pressure cooker, water, then water, stir until it's all the salt. Add the potatoes. So we have the little baby potatoes. Yeah. The little yellows, that's what they call little yellows. There's a metro, not sponsored by metro, but they have potatoes. So we had two bags of the potatoes, little yellows. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's going over. Okay, two bags of potatoes. And potatoes, blah, blah, blah. Close the lid, where's the lid? There's the lid. Uh, 
and it's closed, turn it to the that closed setting. Boom, 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 boom. Press the pressure cook. Pressure cook. Put it on for plus button to select eight minutes for baby potatoes. That's what we had, right? Baby potatoes. Mm -hmm. I mean, eight minutes. And blah, 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 blah. By pressure, when the cook time ends, immediately turn the steam release knob to the venting position. So we're going to release the steam when it says it's done. Yep. So we get it out. Turn the pit, the lid drops down, open the lid to remove the potatoes. Paper line plate, drain them and dry. And then you, you pour them in a big bowl with some butter and stuff like that. And then you serve them like that in a bowl with some butter. I got some uh, hamburger boxes. I can open those up and I can put a couple of potatoes in with the butter and stuff like that because you're supposed to dip the potatoes in the butter and stuff like that and eat them. They're really, really good. Mm -hmm. And Instant Pot Syracuse salt potatoes. Awesomely, possibly, wickedly good. You'll see them when they come out. Keep it beefy. Hey Google, stop the music. Cut her down. See what we got. Oh, what should I? How should I cut it? Cross. Okay, so cross the bone. So the bone's right here. Yeah, yeah. So the bone's here. Yeah, but it goes all the way across. So that means the bone. You don't want to use so that. Into the bone. I can't tripod. cut the bone. Well, you can always right, cut that it. piece off and then okay. cut it if you want. Yeah, that's why I'm going to go carve around the bone. Okay. That would be or should it go cut. this side? Okay. Cut so. down to the bone first, and then and then like that. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah, all right. Here we all go. Right. So Enemy's getting out. sliced. Let's have a look at how it is. That's it. It might be able. You might be able to separate it there too. That's why I'm just gonna go right down this side. There, it should come off. If it was done properly, it should just come off the bone. It's not coming off the bone. Yeah. Okay. You have a. Well, it's a big piece. Yeah. Here. Well, here I'll let I'll let Tommy trimmer trim it because he knows how to how to trim the meat. <laughs> when it comes to beef, I can trim the shit. Oh, that looks good. I've, car nice. I've carved a few deer up. Yeah, no doubt you have. Jesus. I'll give that piece to Dale. Me. Well, he never she can't show because he had band practice tonight at the farm. Did he text you back? Yeah. Very good. Cool. See? Okay, nice job. Yeah, yeah. Just give this to your dog. Okay. Now, can I give him the deer bone? Or is it, is it like a beef bone? Because I was asking Lawrence about that. We weren't sure. Yeah, that's good. Though. Yeah. That looks fucking beautiful. Right? <laughs> Thank you. That's not the knock. See here, we'll get it organized here. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. it's, it's mellow. It's very nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Perfect. Definitely does. But if you're not used to it, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the last actually it's so look. funny. The last like nice. two to three weeks, I've been just getting it to start. Fairly, I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Looks look. amazing. Good in there. Not oh, gonna look. It's very lean, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, the first deer leg on Brain Damage Barbecue, Bambi dinner proud. Keep it beefy. <laughs> yeah. Oh and yeah, you got like you got big time sponsorship. I held your sign up three or four times saying, yeah, Tommy Trimmer, you want your sketch done, you call him, he's the master. Absolutely. Give me big shout outs. Well, you're, you're, you're the sponsor. You're the mm -hmm. sponsor by supplying the meat. Right. Oh yeah, by yeah. the way. Slice off a few bite sized pieces. Any, if anybody wants to sponsor the show anytime with a donation of food or something like that, we would be more than happy to do it. Just leave comments down below on any one of the videos. We'll get back to you. 
We'll cook whatever you want. You send me some meat. It'll go on the morning. Any one of the smokers, whatever you want me to cook it on, I'll cook it on. So, get in touch. Peace. Keep it beefy. Thanks for tuning in, by the way, all of you. And did they all here? Now you can really show them the salt potatoes. Because I did show them what I did on the other cameras. I was showing them. So these are salt potatoes, drenched in butter. They're very delicious. That so much. These guys ate before they came, of course, so they're not gonna. Yeah. You have that marbling in his fridge for a long time. Very, very. Well, I hope I did. Not I know anything about cooking. I meat. hope I did it justice. I really do. No, no, I think it's good. The. Uh, a lot of times with legs, I kebab them up. Mm -hmm. That's what, what you're I found saying. With roasts, are they really good or they're not good, right? Like in what way? They're too gamey or well, they're just, just I find that like I I like to ginger kebab them. That's all. Right? Okay, okay. And you know, it's it's all good. Man. You can take the board. I'll take more, dude. Well, I got another container. You want to put some taters in there? Yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Did you show the butter on there yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Fucking right. Oh, oh, thanks, buddy. No problem. Thank you for the leg. No, also put a little butter on there too. Uh, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. That's one. Yeah, you should pack that. Uh, you should you, like thin sliced with the, um, you know, for sandwiches or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just cut off a piece. I'll try it. It's uh. It's kind of like uh, no. When you're done beef filming, and, beef and lamb. Anyways, we're, yeah, we're done for now. So, like thank you very much for tuning in, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't hit the notification buttons. Again, love you all. Keep it beefy. Thanks again to Tommy Trimmer, the man behind the meat. I'll bring a little bit to Dale. Okay, yeah, I was gonna bring him a piece, but you can do it because you. We got good content. You're missing all the good content. I am. Wow. You can do some editing. Really? Uh, Joel, there's a couple pieces right there in the middle of the pile off the bone that you should try. Yeah. I will, I will. Because I still got my, my shit to fucking where did I put my food? Where's my food? Oh, I came out with hamburgers and hot dogs. Where the hell are they? I'm sure you're good for a couple of days. Sucks. Where the hell are my burgers and dogs? I don't know. Oh, they're over here. There's the coal on the smoke on the on the cube. Yeah, but those people are pussies. Come on, motherfuckers. Cut your head before the shoot. Well, fuck it. Yeah. It needs a trim on the top.